Hey there, it's time to cook. All right, today I'm gonna make this very simple potato. You're gonna love it. All right, so we're just gonna peel the potato. You can use a vegetable peeler if you like, or you just go around and get that peel off of there. And then we're gonna cut it into wedges, and then we're gonna boil it for about five minutes or so till it gets soft. And then we're gonna put it in the air fryer after we spray it with a little bit of avocado oil and salt and pepper, and you're gonna get some great crunchy potato wedges, and they're so good. And one potato is enough for two people, if you know, unless you really love it, in which case it's not. Okay, so we're gonna cut this in quarters, and then we're gonna cut each of the quarters again. So we have nice little wedges. They don't have to be too fancy, just, you know, it's just for you. All right, and here I have some cold water, so we're just gonna drop them in. It's good to let them set a little bit. And I'm gonna hit them some Jane's Crazy Mixed Up Salt, just enough to cover the top of the pan, so it's got a nice little salty base. I'm gonna boil them for five minutes and then air fry them. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, it's all boiled, and I'm gonna take one out. And I just put them in a single line in the air fryer basket. And then we're gonna spray them with a little bit of this oil. And then we're gonna salt and pepper them. And they're gonna be good to go. Then they go in the air fryer at three, I think it's 365 for about mm, five, 10 minutes. Just take a look at it. You want it to be kind of a goldeny brown on the outside. So you wanna hit it with some of this avocado oil spray that just gets it nice and crispy on the outside and a little more of the seasoning and in it goes I'll show you what it looks like in a few minutes all right here they are in the air fryer you can see they're nice and golden brown it did take a lot longer than I thought they would to be honest with you so I cooked them at 390 degrees and they ended up taking 20 minutes not as quick as I said so I kept checking them and I was pretty particular because I want them really crunchy and I want them all the way golden brown. They're super hot. So I wanted them real crunchy and all the way golden brown around. So they took a little longer, but you check them every five minutes or so, get a little shake and take them out when you're ready. I hope you really enjoyed them. Give them a shot. See ya.